In our Gospel reading for today, we have heard that the Sadducees tried to trap Jesus by asking Him a tricky question. May tradisyon ang mga Hudyo na kung ang asawang lalaki ay mamamatay at walang naiwang anak sa kanyang asawang babae, ang susunod na kapatid ng yumaong asawa ang siyang aako sa responsibilidad bilang bagong asawa ng nabalong babae. Ang tanong nila kay Jesus ay kung ang isang balong babae na napangasawa ang pitong lalaking magkakapatid dahilan sa ang lahat ay hindi nakapag-iwan ng anak nang sila ay unang mamatay sa asawang babae sa kabilang buhay, sino sa magkakapatid ang tatayong asawa ng balong babae? If only our Lord could laugh, He would have done so. First, because He knew that the Sadducees were trying to trap Him. And second, because of the absurdity of their question. Our Lord simply answered them that in the afterlife, our concerns here on earth are no longer concerns in heaven, na parabang sinasabi sa atin, kapiling na natin ang Diyos sa buhay na walang hanggan, wala nang mas hihigit pa roon. Hindi na tayo maghahanap pa ng magagarang damit, masasarap na pagkain, magagandang tanawin, sapagkat kapiling at kasama na natin ang Diyos, wala nang mas sasaya pa doon. We have lots of concerns here on earth about our health, our jobs, our families. We have lots of insecurities coming from them. What if we get sick? What if we lose our jobs? What if our family members leave us? There are different sources of fears about our sickness, about famine, about our security. And there are questions that have yet to find a definite and convincing answer of why there is poverty, why there is suffering, why there is death. The point of Jesus in his discourse with the Sadducees is that sometimes we concern ourselves too much with things of this life, with things that are passing. Yes, they may be important, but they are not necessary for our salvation. We continue on with our lives here on earth. We make it as happy, as comfortable, and as blissful as it should be. We continue to be kind, good, and loving. But as we continue to live here on earth with our individual concerns, let us not forget to look ahead and preoccupy ourselves more with what is eternally valuable. We pray for God's blessings as we look forward and work towards life eternal, where there is no insecurity, no questions, no suffering, only pure bliss, and a life eternally blessed with absolute happiness, with happiness Himself, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Thank you.